When testing sites, we want to add the site that we're testing to what Burp Suite calls the scope, meaning the sites that Burp is willing to interact with and run tools on. If we don't, then features, for example, the intercept feature, are going to work against any site we run across and not just the sites that we're trying to test. This is particularly important to set up when you have Burp Suite Pro Edition because that edition includes automated scanners and you don't want those to wander off into sites that you don't have permission to test. Let's use the proxy feature to see how this works. So right now I haven't set the scope. Any site I visit is not only going to proxy through Burp Suite, but if the intercept feature is on, will be intercepted by Burp Suite. As an example, when Firefox goes out to see if there's any updates, we notice that request is intercepted. Similarly, if we go out and visit our test site, Matilda, it's intercepted the same. And here's the request from Matilda. To set the scope, you can right click on any of the context, context sensitive screens, but you can also go to the target tab, see a list of the sites that you visited, and choose the one that you want to include in scope. So if we right click on Matilda, our test site, and say add to scope, we'll notice on the scope tab that a rule is automatically created adding that into the target scope. If you would like more fine-grained control over this process, check the Use Advanced Scope Control. You can add sites manually by typing in the domain or IP, port, and even a file path. If you've copied a URL from your browser, you can also use the Paste URL button to fill these fields in automatically. If you don't mind setting the scope at the domain level, the automated feature works very well. Now that our site is in scope, we can go to tools such as the proxy and take advantage of this feature. We go to proxy options where we configure the rules for intercept. And we can use the URL as in target scope rule for requests and responses. We can also move these rules up so that they take precedence over other rules. Now that that's done, we can turn the intercept feature on. And when we visit Matilda Day, it should be intercepted because we set it in scope. And we see that it's intercepted here. Now let's reset and go visit a site that's not in scope. So for example, we'll go to YouTube. So we visit YouTube, but let's go back over to the intercept. We notice that YouTube is not intercepted because it's not in scope. So the intercept feature is very useful to ensure that you don't get interference from sites that you're not trying to test and also that automated features don't wander off into sites that you don't have permission to test.